there are not many bands that I can think of off the top of my head that can keep the collective attention of pretty much everybody in the metal scene when it comes to something as little as replacing a band member. But Slipknot is definitely one of those bands. And we've seen it online, not even just online, everywhere. I've heard people at every concert I've been going to talking about it ever since Slipknot unexpectedly fired their previous drummer, Jay Weinberg, back in early 2023. Everybody wants to know who they're going to get as their new drummer, myself included, honestly. And I got to say, I'm actually excited about Slipknot again. I've seen online, there's a lot of metalheads that are like, who cares? Slipknot's done. I'm not into him anymore. But for me personally... I'm kind of digging this situation. Not that Jay got fired, that's unfortunate, but there hasn't been this kind of like hype with Slipknot in a while. And I've been listening to these guys since their self-titled album dropped. So all this stuff about what's going on is kind of fun. So while there are people out there that may not care at all, you just got to understand that people like what they like. And there are other people that are excited about this as I am. Now, we've had a lot of clues to who the new drummer is going to be. And I'm pretty sure we can say, without a shadow of a doubt, it's Aloy Casagrande, even though, again, we haven't gotten that official announcement. Now, in this video, I'm going to cover some things that have happened over the last 24 hours because just shortly before I'm filming this, Slipknot just played their first show with their new drummer. And that first show was wild, man. It was at a little place called Pappy and Harriet's out in Southern California. If I understand it right, it was like 800 capacity. It was announced pretty short. I mean, well, with not a lot of time ahead of it. But the cool thing about this, and this is something that I think people in the music industry can take notes of, the tickets were super cheap because they just wanted fans to have a cool experience. But they were also non-transferable meaning they and their team have probably understood people would buy these tickets and resell, resale, resell them and scalp them. And they eliminated that. So that makes me think like, why can't other people do non-transferable tickets as well? I know there are certain situations where people buy tickets and they can't go to shows and stuff like that and they want to sell them. But so it's a genius move. And I really got to give credit to Slipknot and their team for doing that. But I want to check out a video from this show that I was sent and I've been sent a lot of them. I mean, over the last 12 hours, my DMs have been blown up by people being like, dude, it's definitely Aloy. And I'm kind of curious why everybody thinks that. I mean, it, it probably is. I haven't watched this video that we're about to check out yet, but I've been watching Aloy play for so long that within seconds, I think I'll be able to recognize just his movements, let alone anything else. So let's check this out really quick. Yeah, 100%. You can tell just the way he does that fill leading in, how high he lifts his arms up like this to like that. That is 100% Aloy just from watching him there. Now, of course, I didn't show the rest of what I watched because I don't want this video to get copyright claimed to hell and back. But there is one other moment of this that is a pretty dead giveaway. When the double bass part here kicks in, pay attention to the Tom fills that are going on. Now, it's not to say that no other drummer would do something like that, but that is almost identical to the way that Aloy played it on his People Equal Shit cover that he uploaded over three years ago on his own YouTube channel. So for me personally, that's all I need to see. Just, just from watching a little bit of that video and seeing the movements and stuff like that, it is 100% Aloy Casagrange. There's no way it's anybody else. Like, I, I was about to just say, like, if it is somebody else, but it's not. It's 100% Aloy. I think we all know that. And if you don't know that, or if you do have a doubt, here's a couple other things that have come up. The website that popped up that was kind of serving as their promotional marketing for their 25th anniversary of the self-titled album had a bunch of cool information in there. Well, somebody on Reddit posted, well, it has since been deleted by Reddit, which I find crazy. The only thing I could think of is that Slipknot's lawyers or somebody got involved and said, this needs to be scrubbed from the internet. But I really don't know why at this point, because the mystery has been fun for everybody. But either way, somebody revealed the source code. I'm saying this in a super simple way. I don't know anything about how you get source code and stuff on the internet, but somebody on a computer found the source codes for the images on the website, and they were all named after the band members. And Aloy 
was one of them. I believe it said like Aloy.jpg or something like that. There's also one in there that said Jeff, which a lot of people are speculating is one of the band members that was in Dirty Little Rabbits with Clown that has replaced Craig. So might be even revealing another band member, but we're going to stick with the drummers on this one. And it's kind of funny to me because at first I was like, did they really not think about that? Like, did they really put the band's names as the file images, like not thinking somebody would see that. And I don't want to think that the band or their website designers are that dumb. Like, but this is also the band that revealed their, you know, new bass player by not thinking about covering his tattoos in his first music video and performance. But I don't know, man, there are some times where I, I actually want to give Slipknot credit. Like they may actually have thought about this stuff because if I remember right from that promotional website, there was like a little tagline in quotes somewhere that said something similar to, but not exactly like the answers are all around you if you look or something like that. So the file names could have been an intentional thing just to reveal the secret and people be like, oh, but going back to the tattoo thing, that's another thing that just happened because after that performance, people were able to compare tattoos as I will show on screen and you'll see immediately the tattoos match. It is Aloy, which again makes me think like, did they not think of covering that or which I actually think may be the most realistic answer at this point. They don't care. Like they're not trying to keep it as big of a secret as I think people are thinking they are even as much as I was thinking they were in the beginning. This might just be fun for the band. And again, this has been kind of fun for me looking up more information. We see they're going to really be celebrating the 25th anniversary of the slug. I'm not cutting any of this. We're just going to mess it all up. They're celebrating the 25th anniversary of their self-titled album, which for a lot of people in the metal scene is a goaded album. It was a game changer. And we can see in the videos that we've seen, they're wearing the throwback red jumpsuits. They're wearing some throwback masks. I mean, watching that video for me was really like, wow, this, this is like the feeling and the energy that I got from them 25 years ago, especially seeing a video of them playing at a tiny club like that. And it'll happen after I've finished filming this video, but they are going to be performing at Sick New World as well. So there's probably going to be Tons and tons of videos online that we can all see. And I actually can't wait to see how they sound with Aloy drumming with them because I've been a huge fan of his drumming for a very long time. And being a fan of his drumming, I can understand why he made this move. I've seen a lot of people online being like, he's been in Sepultura forever and he's a legend in that Brazilian metal scene just like that band. Why would he leave before their farewell tour to join a band like Slipknot? Well, let's just be 100% honest here. Slipknot is way bigger than Sepultura ever is and was worldwide. I mean, Sepultura in their own right is a massive legendary band, but for somebody like Aloy, who if I'm not mistaken is in his early 30s, this may not be something that lasts the rest of his career. This could just be another thing on his resume that when Slipknot gets to the point when they're done or if they decide to be done, he could move on. And again, I think this is a gig, drama aside, I know we've seen a lot of drama with this band over the years, this is a gig that I think anybody would kill to be in any one of their shoes. I mean, you're going to go down as being a member of one of the most legendary metal bands ever. I mean, up until Slipknot's self-titled album came out and then Iowa, we never saw a band this heavy really hit the mainstream this hard. Again, as I said earlier, it was game-changing. And having somebody with the groove and the chops that Aloy has, this may add a new element to Slipknot. I believe when I was watching that video, I noticed that some of them are now wearing in-ears, like in-ear monitors. And I don't think that's something that Slipknot has ever really done. I know they never used tracks. So they may be using in-ear monitors just for literally their monitors and hearing stuff. But there's a possibility that maybe Aloy is playing to a click now, so everything's tighter. You never know. I just think there are so many little things that he can add to this band. And again, monster drummer, and I'm excited to see what happens. And again, if you are one of those people that's over Slipknot and you don't care and whatever, that's fine. As I said earlier, just understand that there are people that are still into this band and they kind of just 
enjoy the circus of everything that's going on right now. I actually do. I actually think this has been really cool for metal in general for everybody to be talking about this. And I mean, you look at the clips of that show that we watch and everybody has their phone up because everybody's so excited to see what happens. And it's just a really cool thing, man. I'm excited about it. And if you are too, awesome. And I guess if you're not, awesome. Everybody likes their own things. But to wrap this up, even without an official announcement from Slipknot, Aloy Casagrande, absolutely 100% Slipknot's new drummer. I think we didn't have any doubts going into that show that it was going to be him, but super cool, man. Excited to hear what you guys think about the future of this band. I wonder how any new albums are going to sound, and I'm stoked to see this show if I get a chance to. But thank you guys very much for watching. I'm on a ton of social media too, at Tank the Tech is my handle on just about everything. I also stream on Twitch from time to time. Twitch.tv slash Tank the Tech is my handle over there. I will be going on tour again soon, so I probably won't be streaming much. But again, on social media, keep up with me. We'll have pictures, stuff like that. But I'm going to get going. So wherever you are in the world, be safe, be kind to each other. I love you all, and I will see you very soon.